I'm Dr. David Alquist, a gastroenterologist and a professor of medicine at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. I'm pleased to uh, report uh, the summary re results of our study uh, in involving uh, application of next generation stool DNA testing for detection of colorectal neoplasia. As the audience knows, colorectal cancer remains a very common cause of mortality in this country and globally. Uh, because of technical innovations, uh, a next generation stool DNA test holds the promise of detecting both cancer and precancers at high rates throughout the colon. The purpose of this study was to explore the performance of this next generation tool for detection of colorectal neoplasia and to look at clinical covariates affecting results. This was a blinded case control multi-center study uh, comprising uh, nearly 700 patients. Uh, there were cases that included both colorectal cancer and adenomas, more than 250 cancers and more than 130 advanced adenomas. There were also nearly 300 colonoscopy normal controls. The patient set was divided into a training set and into a test set for validation. And the assay involved uh, hybrid capture of the target uh, analytes and use of an analytically sensitive uh, quartz assay that amplified both the sequence and the signal to, to yield very high sensitivities. Markers included four methylation markers, mutant KRAS, beta actin, and hemoglobin. A, logis a logistical regression model was used to analyze the data. So what did the results look like? Uh, overall, the sensitivity for colon cancer was 85%, and for advanced adenomas, those larger than one centimeter was 63%. Now we looked at uh, performance in both training and test sets, and the adenoma detection rates were essentially identical, but the colon cancer detection fell slightly in the test set. We combined sets to look at covariate analyses and uh, found some very interesting results. Uh, colon cancer stage uh, did not influence detection rates. Uh, importantly, stages one, two, and three, the non-metastatic uh, stages, had uh, comparably high detection rates. Uh, in aggregate, the detection was 87 percent. Adenoma size was critical. Uh, as polyps increased and increased their risk of becoming cancer with enlarged size, the detection rates increased. Uh, all of those larger than one centimeter uh, were detected at 63 percent, larger than two centimeters at 77 percent, larger than three, 86 percent, and larger than four centimeters, 91 percent. These results have important implications from a screening application standpoint. Uh, with repeated testing, those polyps most likely to progress to cancer are the ones that are going to be most likely detected, and that should uh, translate into improved efficacy for cancer prevention. Tumor site, both with cancer and with precancers, did not influence uh, detection rates. Uh, proximal cancers or proximal adenomas were just as likely to be detected as distal ones. Now, this is in contrast to virtually all conventional approaches, which are biased toward left-sided detection rates. Uh, and that will be very important, again, in improving the effectiveness of uh, cancer and, and precancer detection. To have a maximal effect, a screening tool must effectively detect both early stage cancer and the critical precancers. Uh, our results suggest that stool DNA testing accomplishes uh, those goals. Uh, clearly, uh, these results will need to be corroborated in a screen setting, uh, and, this, uh, and such a validation is currently underway across multiple sites uh, for FDA approval.